definitely got up a little late today, which is the story of my life, but today was like extra late. I could not fall asleep. I don't know what's up with my sleeping lately. I've been having the worst time falling asleep. So, yay me. Ow! You need sleep? But I'm excited to go to the pumpkin patch with you guys. We had like a kind of slow, technically afternoon. It's about 2.45 right now. And I'm gonna head out pumpkin patch real soon because it closes at 5 p.m. And I wanna make sure we have plenty of time to do everything before it closes. I'll be wearing my over the garden wall hat that I got from Keel Patrick someone. It does cast a bit of a shadow on my face, so. We'll hold off on that. And I wanted to show you my makeup really quick before we go, um, because I found these makeup palettes slash like other items from Walgreens of all places. Cat hair. <laughs> and I had to show you. It's the Monsters University collection and I had no idea that Revolution was gonna do this. Uh, last year they made a Lion King collection. And I did get, excuse my reach past ya. I did get this. Ooh, uh, there's a there were not that many left when I by the time I found this in Target. But when I found these in Walgreens, there was quite a bit of stuff in the collection left. They had highlighters, primers, obviously eyeshadow palettes, uh, different lipsticks. I got this lip oil and ah, it's so cute. Okay, let me show you the like best part about if you get these. It's little scare cards. If you ever watch Mars University, you'll know what I mean. And inside it has their stats. Oh my god. And I love Don Carlton, so I was happy they made a palette with him. And if you look on this side, it has little scripture words of Don. And I think that's... It is so adorable. Am I wrong? Yeah, his stuff is really cool as well. I like how they made the palettes on the inside similar to their color palette. And then potentially my favorite thing. And I will say, these eyeshadows are very smooth and buttery, so that's nice, because sometimes it's kind of a toss-up if they're going to be, if you buy them from a drugstore and they're not that expensive. Like, the Lion King one wasn't that great. It was okay. These ones are definitely better, so if you are near Walgreens, go but go get some. They also have it online. You just have to pay for shipping, obviously, online. But this lip oil is my favorite. This is the container it came in, and it's pH color changing, which I thought was a really good idea with Randall since, you know, he changes colors and he's invisible. So I was like, dude, that marketing is perfect. How can you deny the topper of this? Look at Randall. I love when he's nerdy. I can relate to that. Okay, are you guys ready to go to a pumpkin patch? Because I am donning the hat. Pancakes? Pancakes it is. <laughs> No smoking and no dogs. Wait, well, I just realized I said, and definitely no smoking dogs. <laughs> Look at the dog. Very nice. <laughs> we walked the wrong way. <laughs> we did. Banners are so cute. Oh, here's the stuff, huh? I like this goofy guy. Ooh. We got the mini M&M ones too. And chocolate chip, and they have veggie pot pie puff pastry. Pumpkin donuts, apple cider donuts. Well, I think they've raised their prices, eight dollars a bag. But that's not going to stop me. Hold up. No, Hold up. up. I want it. You want to get it? Yeah. All right. And we're getting the butterbeer slush. Let's let's give this a try. Definitely yeah, butterscotch. Tastes pretty good. It does give me Harry Potter vibes. Full show. Full show. Full show. Excellent. Ten points to Gryffindor. Gotta pick out a good pumpkin. The best pumpkin there ever was. Ooh, animals. <laughs> oh my god, how cute. Oh, look at the little goats over here. And a sheep, aww. Oh, the, the button heads. Oh no, they're fighting over the pumpkin. Nani? It's nice that it's not super crowded. You wanna stick your head in the bee? 
Nicely done. Do you have like a whole little fam going on? I'd pick the vampire. <laughs> Your head is so small. <laughs> I can go through it. Cans. What tiny pumpkin? Oh, those ones. Oh, yeah. the tiny. Like, I see them every year, but somehow they always get me with their cuteness. Whoa. Giant. Er, giant cornhole. I know. Wow. For size. This is really large. Play. No, we, we, we can play that afterwards, right? Let's go on the hayride. We made it on the hayride. <laughs> Corn maze time. See how tricky this is. Do you know what they made the corn into this year? Huh? Don't they make some the corn into something every year? Yeah, on the cob. Ha <laughs> ha. That you can see from an aerial view? Uh no, the UFOs do that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Aliens. Aliens. Day 392. We're still lost in the corn maze. Alright, you guys, left or right? Better tell me. I'm going right. <laughs> Left. If we look to the sky, we'll know where to go. Oh look, you can see the outside. Nice. Nice. We made it? Yeah. We didn't get lost once, we just walked through it. <laughs> that was it. Wow. I have an innate sense of direction. Okay, where am I? Went to the corn maze and now we're getting a pumpkin. Although, I gotta say, grabbing pumpkins off the vine, it's kind of prickly. Not my favorite thing. Oh, this sunflower looks sad. It's time to take a bath. Mm-mm, squeaky clean. Mm, those are some nice leaves back there. Oh, that's a perfect pumpkin. Tractor. We're gonna get pumpkins at the front because they always seem to have better pumpkins up there. We found a donkeys. Right, sweetheart. Oh, I love donkeys. Wish I knew your name. Made it back to the pumpkin patch. Um, having some trouble finding one though, because they're all pretty big pumpkins. Also, I don't see that many Cinderella ones over here. Hmm. <laughs> Dear God, it's beautiful. I like how it's oval. It just seems goofy and I like it. Had to leave that big boy behind because I didn't want to empty it out. So I got well, a little one. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I ended up getting a smaller pumpkin because I didn't want to empty out that big one. Because as soon as I tried picking it up, I was like, oh, that's gonna. But I picked it up, no problem. But yeah, I didn't end up getting that big one. I ended up getting a smaller one because I realized I didn't want to actually empty out that big of a pumpkin. So we got a smaller one and then we got four gourds and then Dory got a giant pumpkin. I sure did. So that was our, our loot today. We got some sweets. We got some dinner tonight. I got chicken pot pie. Dory got chicken pot pie soup. And I also got a little dish towel, which I'll show you when we get home. Howdy. We are back home and here's the dish towel I got today. Isn't it cute? I still like the color scheme of it and I liked how it was Halloween candy. The only thing I don't like is if we flip it around, it says we have too much candy, said so no one ever. I am not a phrase gal, however, nice thing about these dish towels is you just flip it around and it's the way you want it to be. It doesn't feel like a super absorbent dish towel, but I think it'll do the job, at least decoration wise, and I really like. Wait, wait, wait. The ghost, the skull lollipop, and the candy corn. This was $7.95, so not too bad. Thank you guys so much for coming with us to the pumpkin patch. Now, we went to Lee Farms, and if you want to go, I totally recommend them. They're my favorite place that I found around the Portland area. Technically, they're in Tualatin, Oregon, but that's still pretty close to Portland. If you have a car, it's not too bad. The admission fee for us was $15 per person, and then they have a more extravagant fee if you want to do all of their rides and stuff like that. I think that was like $34 something or other. If you have kids, I feel like it's worth it. However, I feel like if you're an adult, probably just stick with $15 admissions. We were there for like two hours. We got to see some horsies, a donkey, bunnies, obviously pumpkins. 
and we had a good old time. I hope you guys enjoyed coming with. I enjoyed taking you. Editors will know better than me, but uh, hopefully it wasn't too poor footage for y'all and you got to live some good fall vibes today. Now day four, we will be doing an animation breakdown. So as you saw at the beginning of this video, there was a little animation for my 30 days of Halloween and I'll be going over how I made that in day four tomorrow. So I hope you guys have fun, see a little behind the scenes and that ends our day today. Hope you guys are having an awesome October. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.